Jethi Markani is one of the people attending the meeting that will focus on populism leading politicians. Top figures in finance and influential journalists kick off their 66th gathering today discussing the wave of populism that swept over the continent. The meeting takes place in Italy, an appropriate venue as the country's parliament just approved with a vote of confidence a new populist and heavily Eurosceptic government. The worry over populism taking over the continent has hugely increased since last year, when the topic was eight on the list in the 14-point meeting as agenda, which included debates over the Trump administration, the direction of the European Union, climate change and fake news. Over the course of the last 12 months, Populist parties won elections in the Czech Republic, anti-immigration and Eurosceptic leaders increased their influence in Germany and Austria and they retained power in Hungary. And traditionally Europhile Italy turned its back to the EU and paved the way to government to anti-immigration Liga and anti-establishment five-star movement, which together created the most Eurosceptic cabinet in the history of the country's republic. The 131 attendees to this year's event among which are counted Bank of England Governor Mark Carney, King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands and tech billionaire Peter Thiel, will debate over 12 topics, according to the event's agenda. The group is also set to discuss other key topics including Russia, Saudi Arabia and Iran, the US before midterms and post-truth world. Anti-immigration leader Viktor Orban won the elections in Hungary in April at Italy's new populist government sworn in on Friedrich Bilderberg meeting founded in 1954, was designed to facilitate dialogue between Europe and North America. Despite holding no official power, the status of the group's members make it one of the most influential gathering in the world. The summit will take place between June 7 to 10, and will be ruled by the Chatham House rule, which allows people to use information shared during the debates, but not to identify the person who shared it.